Welcome to Tech in 5, where you can get your tech news in five minutes. I'm Madeline. And I'm Christina, and this is your weekly download. Well, Christina, we got some great news to talk about coming out of Microsoft Ignite. Microsoft just announced Microsoft Mesh, uh, and this is going to actually be the first time they take the bits that they create and interact them with the atoms of their real world. And what does that really all mean? Well, it's basically using mixed reality to interact with our business world. So whether it's using Teams to actually have a person in front of you without a screen and actually have them in a hologram, or it's using it to interact in a way that gets us closer into the pieces that we use in manufacturing, it's really bringing that immersive experience of having people there without actually having people there, which is like super cool. Uh, what they've also said was that about 90% of companies with 50, 500 people or more are using mixed reality already. Uh, so that's, really? we're seeing, is it's crazy, right? I mean, it's already being used in so many industries and, and they even kind of said that we've gotten used to this idea because of technologies like Pokemon Go, because we were able to, inter we, the American culture has now learned how to interact with it and not get freaked out by it. What are your thoughts? I think this is just, it's mind boggling. It certainly is. And it sounds like something that I'd expect to see my son playing with on his, uh, one of his game, game play, game stations. So, um, but it is exciting. I do remember, you know, a couple years ago, I was in San Francisco for an Oracle uh, convention, and one of the pavilions was dedicated to definitely the future, which all involved all sorts of mixed media AR. Um, and I was really impressed with the idea of these, um, it's either a helmet or it's a visor, mm -hmm. and you could use that as an engineer, walk into a building and load the plans for the different, maybe the electrical or the, um, the hydraulic, the water, the, you know, or anything that's in, involved in, in a complex building structure, just looking at it and flip through them on your goggles. So you could look into a uh, corner and see, you know, through the wall, so to speak, and, and see where the, the AC vents are and things like that. So um, very exciting technology and the applications mm -hmm. are certainly endless. I, you know, uh, it's no, no secret that you and I are totally on board with the future <laughs> of technology and, and just uh, eat up all of this, this, this innovation. Um, but the business applications are, are multiple. Um, I'll just kind of kick it off. One of the ones that I, I thought, thought was really interesting is uh, Aviation Technical Institute mm -hmm. using these visors to train technicians on how to repair engines and, and motors and, and other things. Um, by giving them the gloves and everything. So they're working on a hologram and that way they conserve the actual metal and the physical item without, you know, so if anything's going to break it, it really doesn't cost anything except right. maybe reset the program and start over again. <laughs> um, what other, what other applications do you see? Well, I think there's a ton that it can actually be pulled into because it, it is really being to get to interact with the world in a new way. Uh, and what's interesting is that you brought up that you saw these, you know, these helmets and these visors. Uh, and what Microsoft Mesh is actually trying to do is that, yes, it's going to work with the Microsoft product of HoloLens. Uh, and it's also going to work with Oculus. It's also what I think is kind of the game changer is going to make it for your phone and your tablet. So even if you don't have the visor uh, to really put on and, and be very immersive, you're still going to get to interact with it from a computer or from your phone, uh, similar to the games on our phone, right? We're going to be able to like look over, see it and, and interact. Um, yeah. In fact, actually, if I can step in here real quick, um, yeah. if you recall when we did the um, the CES review earlier this year, we talked about Samsung having the 5G capable uh, mobile phones as well as the tablets coming out later this year. So that technology that, you know, we're really going to re depend on that Wi-Fi speed and the 6E, 5G, and 6E eventually um, technology to be able to support the amount of um, data that's going to be transmitted over over wireless. So, um, to your point, maybe we can end up just you know lifting up our phone and using our phone as as a, instead of a visor or a helmet. So it's very interesting. It is, and and if you look at some of this technology too, it's it's not just going to be, uh, you know, an avatar that we're creating, but it's also going to be our ability to do a digital twin of ourselves too. So we want that really strong speed to be able to get there. Uh, what I think is really interesting is although with them personally hasn't dived very far into mixed reality, what we're really seeing is that you're going to have to have a strong base within Microsoft 365 and within the cloud so that we yeah. have the right infrastructure uh, and and the governance set up so that it can then support mixed reality. And and that's really the new future of where technology is going. And, and Microsoft has made that quite clear uh, from the 10 years they've already spent in the cloud to where they want to go. Uh, we've already seen a lot of products get 
built in with AI and machine learning. So to see how this new world of, of virtual reality, mixed reality, augmented reality, uh, where that's going to play into their products, it's going to be something to really keep an eye on in the future. Yeah, and I think that, uh, you know, we're running out of time here, but if we, it, yeah. you know, to take that all the way into maybe perhaps a manufacturing scenario and and using a dynamics ERP to to run your business, maybe instead of now just, uh, you know, with our SKUs, our inventory, instead of having a photo or, you know, a flat file of some sort or a flat image of two-dimensional image mm -hmm. of some sort, now we might have a hologram. There's a question about, do I have the right screw or is that the right component for an assembly? <laughs> you know, you can just pull up the hologram and take a look at it and um, a whole exactly. different experience. Oh. For sure, for sure. Well, thank you so much for chatting to, to chatting around Microsoft Mesh and this whole new world of mixed reality. Um, that it's been it's exciting. See what we're going to see. Absolutely, lots more episodes coming down the pipeline, so we'll have plenty of chances to to continue the conversation. Thanks again, Madeline. No problem, and don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see those future episodes coming up. Thank you. See you next time. See ya. Bye. Bye.